The Odyssey Summary If you want to delve into a mesmerizing voyage through time and myth, then the Odyssey is what you need. The Odyssey is a timeless masterpiece attributed to the Greek poet Homer. Its charming tale of adventure, heroism, and the determined spirit of Odysseus has captivated readers for centuries. The Odyssey is one of the earliest texts in Western literature, dating back to the 8th century BCE. Homer's magnificence in storytelling is evident in his other epic poem, The Iliad. These two books provide an enduring effect of ancient Greek mythology. Keep in mind that we can assist you in writing the Odyssey summary. All you need to do is place an order with us to get this help. Overview of the Odyssey So, what is the Odyssey all about? The Odyssey is an ancient Greek epic poem that tells the arduous voyage of Odysseus, a Trojan War hero. The story starts with Odysseus far away from his homeland, Ithaca. He is trapped in the sea and faces numerous challenges that block him from returning to his wife and son, Penelope and Telemachus. Correspondingly, in his quest to get home, he encounters mythical creatures, tempting sirens, and treacherous gods. Some themes the poem looks at are heroism, cunningness, and the consequences of excessive pride. It also portrays Odysseus' resourcefulness and resilience, as well as the significance of loyalty, hospitality, and fate. Overall, it is a testament to humans' victory after adversity and the eternal longing they have for home. The Odyssey characters, the number of characters in the Odyssey is almost endless. The Odyssey is an epic poem written in 24 books, so you can imagine its number of characters. Most of the characters are mythical beings. Nonetheless, those characters drive the plot of the story by playing significant roles. A list of the essential characters in the Odyssey is provided below, Odysseus, Telemachus, Calypso, Athena, Penelope, Zeus, Polyphemus, Menelaus, Let's, Poseidon, remember that on top of helping you write the Odyssey summary, we can also review the book for you. Just turn to us for book review writing services, 1. Odysseus, Odysseus is the protagonist in the Odyssey. He shapes the plot through his cunning and resourceful abilities. He is the hero of the Trojan War, and on the way home, he encounters mythical creatures that bring out his determination and intelligence traits. These traits of him leave an indelible mark on the story and its other characters. Odysseus forms strong relationships with his crew and some gods, who help him. He also depicts unwavering love for his wife, Penelope, too. Telemachus, Telemachus is the son of Odysseus and displays key traits such as courage and a growth mindset. Some key actions of this character that impact the plot are his brave confrontation with the suitors and his lasting desire to seek guidance from wise figures. Telemachus forms a good connection with his mother, Penelope. The goddess Athena, and mentors like Menelaus and Nestor, displaying his loyalty and desire to safeguard his family. 3. Calypso, Calypso is an alluring nymph who entraps Odysseus on her island for several years. Calypso's relationship with Odysseus helps reinforce the themes of this epic poem. Specifically, the theme of duty, desire, and longing for home. 4. Athena, Athena is one of the wisest and most tactical goddesses in the Odyssey. She favors and supports Odysseus throughout his journey by protecting and guiding him. Her loyalty to Odysseus is great as she even disguises herself to assist him. In general, her interventions drive Odysseus toward his crucial goal of getting home. 5. Penelope, Penelope is the wife of Odysseus, whose key traits are being patient, clever, and loyal. All these traits can be seen in her actions of staving off suitors and maintaining hope for her husband's reappearance. She showcases the themes of enduring love and determination. 6. Zeus, Zeus is the king of the gods and the most powerful of them all. He is a wise god and significantly impacts the destiny of Odysseus. He favors Odysseus for being a hero and thus guides and protects Odysseus on his journey back home. He plays a critical role in the themes of divine intervention and destiny. 7. Polyphemus, Polyphemus is a brutal cyclops and the son of Poseidon. He perfectly portrays the traits of cruelty and savagery. Polyphemus imprisons Odysseus' crew, then Odysseus blinds him. In the end, Polyphemus devours the crew of Odysseus. Odysseus' acts of blinding Polyphemus upset Poseidon, thus leading to a series of conflicts between them. 8. Menelaus, Menelaus is a brave Spartan king that forms a close bond with Telemachus. His key traits are that he is generous and loyal, which makes him portray the theme of enduring friendship well. 
Some of his significant actions in the plot development are that he offers crucial information to Telemachus concerning his father's, Odysseus, whereabouts. Also, he assists Telemachus in growing by providing guidance. 9. Lets, Lets is the aged father of Odysseus and comes off as a resilient and wise person. Although he is not one of the main characters, his roles significantly impact the story. His personality brings about an emotional depth and the significance of family and legacy. His healthy relationship with Odysseus makes it possible for Odysseus to become the ruler of Ithaca ultimately. 10. Poseidon, Poseidon is the powerful god who controls the sea. He is used to show the wrath and power of the gods. He significantly drives the plot as he plays an instrumental part in blocking Odysseus from returning home. Poseidon imprisons Odysseus to punish Odysseus for blinding his son. There is an enmity between these two characters, which emphasizes the struggle that exists between the mortals and the divine realm. The Odyssey setting, the setting of the Odyssey is richly complicated as it revolves around several areas, both in the physical world and the divine realm. Nonetheless, the protagonist spends much time on the Mediterranean Sea after leaving Troy as a hero, how does Troy look like? The story starts with scenes of Troy, where Odysseus has conquered Troy, and he is the hero. Troy is in ruin due to the fierce Trojan battle fought there, its towering walls are broken and the place is filled with bronze weapons. How does the Mediterranean Sea look like? Most of the story's setting takes place in the vast expanse of the Mediterranean Sea. The waters, including the waves, are dazzling blue and filled with islands with all kinds of mythical creatures you can think of. This includes the haunting realm of the Cyclops and the luxurious land dominated by the Lotus Eaters. Some of the sea locations offer the protagonist and his crew treacherous experiences. On the other hand, other areas are the majestic halls of gods on Mount Olympus, where divine interventions are performed to shape the human world, characters feeling towards the setting. The setting contributes to mixed feelings among the characters. In certain instances, Odysseus yearns for his homeland, Ithaca, particularly his family and the fertile fields. Odysseus men also feel a sense of vulnerability and awe as they transverse the harsh vastness of the open sea. They are constantly faced with erratic winds and unpredictable storms. In addition, there are moments of fascination and enchantment as they come across mythical creatures. Here, their senses are heightened by the mythical realm sights, smells, and sounds. As the plot evolves, the setting becomes more mysterious and treacherous, challenging Odysseus and his companions. An excellent example of this setting is the haunting realm of the underworld, characterized by its ghostly inhabitants and gloomy darkness. The Odyssey plot, the Odyssey is divided into 24 books that have a chronological flow. This part will summarize what happens in the books. The summary will analyze a group of books together as indicated below, the Odyssey books 1 to 5 summary, the Odyssey books 6 to 10 summary, the Odyssey books 11 to 15 summary, the Odyssey books 16 to 20 summary, the Odyssey books 21 to 24 summary, the Odyssey books 1 to 5 summary. This epic poem begins with Telemachus, Odysseus' son, searching for news about his long-lost father while getting inspiration from the goddess Athena. In the meantime, Odysseus is imprisoned by the nymph Calypso on the island of Ogygia. Shortly afterward, the gods convene on Mount Olympus. And their king, Zeus, orders Calypso to set Odysseus free. The story then changes and focuses on Odysseus' challenges at sea. After Odysseus escapes the wrath of Poseidon, he lands on the island of the Phaeacians, where he meets with King Alcinous. The story then shifts into flashbacks that explain Odysseus' encounters with other mythical realms and creatures such as the Land of the Dead, the Realm of Lotus Eaters, the Enchantress Circe, and Polyphemus the Cyclops. Odysseus' crossover with these mythical creatures shows his cunningness and the divine interventions that assisted him in his journey back home. In case you are looking for excellent tips and tactics for crafting Book 5 The Odyssey Summary. Consider previewing this guide on how to write a summary of a book, The Odyssey Book 6-10 Summary, in these books, there is a shift in the story again. It starts with Odysseus arriving at the Phaeacians' land, where King Alcinous and Queen Arete warmly receive him. Odysseus discloses his true identity to the Phaeacians and mentions his trials in the sea. The story touches on the Phaeacians who vow to assist him in his quest to return home. They give him a ship filled with valuable gifts. The Odyssey Books 11-15 Summary The story in the Odyssey Books keeps changing from one setting to another. At the start of Book 11, readers are taken back to a time before Odysseus' imprisonment on Calypso's island. 
we see Odysseus descending into the realm of the dead to communicate with the blind prophet Tiresias. Here, he comes across several spirits and understands the challenges that await him. Odysseus returns to the living world and instantly comes across the two wicked Scylla and Charybdis. He manages to escape from their clutches through his cunningness, Odysseus and his crew move from the pan to the fire. After escaping Scylla and Charybdis, they land on the island of Aelios. Where grave consequences occur. After slaughtering the sacred cattle on this island, albeit being warned, the crew of Odysseus is killed by a deadly storm sent by Zeus. Odysseus' ship wrecks on the island of the nymph Calypso, who makes Odysseus immortal. Nonetheless, Odysseus still longs for home and tries all his ways to get there. These books shed more light on Odysseus' resilience and the cost of his hubris, the Odyssey Book 16-20 Summary. The story in Book 16 starts with Odysseus' first days in Ithaca after spending years in the sea. Odysseus, together with the Eumaeus, devises a plan to deal with the suitors. It is because they mistreat him as a beggar, and also due to that. They have overrun his palace. While planning, Odysseus' son, Telemachus, comes home and reunites with his father, before revealing himself. Odysseus showcases his warrior nature. He strings his own bow and successfully shoots through the axes. Later, Odysseus and his loyal allies, like Eumaeus, engage in a fierce battle against the suitors. Themes of revenge and Odysseus' determination get portrayed in these books. The Odyssey Books 21-24 Summary The story of Odysseus reaches a climax and resolution in these last books, 21-24. The first scenes involve Odysseus testing his wife's loyalty before revealing himself to her and the other suitors. Once he has proven Penelope's loyalty, he reveals his identity and kills all the suitors with the help of his allies. The suitors' families strategize how to revenge. In the meantime, Odysseus is reuniting with his father, Let's. Another bloody battle occurs between the suitors' family and Odysseus and his men. Athena gets involved and takes the side of Odysseus. Odysseus wins the war, and the story concludes with Odysseus taking his rightful place as the king of Ithaca. These concluding books depict themes of family and loyalty. Themes in the Odyssey, the Odyssey themes that are practically evident in all books are as follows, heroism, cunning, hubris, vengeance, perseverance or resilience, loyalty, homecoming, hospitality, deception. 1. Heroism. Heroism is the act of overcoming external and internal conflicts or enemies. Odysseus can be deemed a hero as he dealt with a plethora of enemies, challenges, and temptations in his quest to return home. The story starts with how Odysseus invaded Troy and won the Trojan War. As the story develops, Odysseus defeats enemies such as Cyclops, Circe, Scylla, and Charybdis, too. Cunning, although Odysseus fought many wars in his pursuit to get home, without his excellent cunning abilities. There are high chances he could not have made it back home. Odysseus used his cunning ability in almost all the challenges he faced. For instance, he used this ability twice on Polyphemus the Cyclops. He tells Cyclops that his name is Nobody. After he blinds Cyclops, Cyclops starts to scream for help by saying, Nobody is hurting me. The other Cyclops don't come as he says, Nobody. Also, at the end of the book, Odysseus uses his cunning when he disguises himself as a beggar to determine who has been loyal to him after his long absence. Are you aware you can get affordable homework help from us for any assignment? such as discussing the Odyssey themes or the Odyssey Book 1 summary. Yes. You can. 3. Hubris. Hubris is a key theme in the Odyssey, which is a Greek-originated term that means excessive pride that comes off as arrogance. Hubris is evident in Odysseus in many instances. The most profound instance, when Odysseus' hubris is out of control is after he blinds Polyphemus the Cyclops. After blinding him, Odysseus and his crew escape, but due to his hubris, Odysseus goes back to the other Cyclops and tells them that he was the one who blinded Cyclops so as to get the credit. This leads to the Cyclops killing his crew. 4. Vengeance, acts of vengeance are widespread in the story of Odysseus. The key characters that engage in these acts are Poseidon and Odysseus. Poseidon sends hellish challenges to Odysseus while at sea. Poseidon does this because Odysseus blinds his son, Polyphemus the Cyclops. Odysseus also revenges the suitors once he returns to Ithaca. He kills them because they are disloyal and possess bad behaviors as guests. 5. 
perseverance or resilience, another primary theme in the Odyssey is perseverance or resilience. Characters that exhibit this trait are Odysseus, Athena, Penelope, and Telemachus. Odysseus fights all odds in the sea to get back home. Athena protects Odysseus and his family time and again without giving up. She assists in freeing Odysseus in Calypso and guides Telemachus to safety, among other deeds. Telemachus never stops his quest to find his father, even after Odysseus goes missing for two decades. Penelope too shows her perseverance by keeping the suitors at bay until Odysseus returns home. 6. Loyalty, the loyalty theme is also profound in the Odyssey. Penelope shows steadfast loyalty to her husband, Odysseus, by waiting for him for all those years he was away. Eumaeus and Eurycleia cement the loyalty theme by warmly welcoming Odysseus back to his home and fighting with him against the suitors. Odysseus' dog, Argos, perfectly displays loyalty even after it is chased away from Odysseus' hall and forced to extreme starvation. 7. Homecoming, the desire of Odysseus to return home keeps burning within him until he reunites with his family. The desire does not change even after the numerous challenges and temptations he encounters in the sea. For instance, forming sexual connections with Circe and Calypso and battling mythical creatures of all sorts. 8. Hospitality, a cherished virtue among the ancient Greeks was hospitability. Travelers in this era had to depend on the generosity of strangers for food, shelter, and warmth. This virtue is also widespread in the story of the Odyssey. The Phaeacians are kind to Odysseus. Menelaus and Nestor warmly welcome Telemachus and his crew with a feast upon arrival. Penelope also does not chase away the tens of suitors because of her kindness. 9. Deception, numerous characters in the Odyssey hide their true identity to trick other people. Athena turns herself into a mentor to get Telemachus away from the dangerous suitors of his mother. Odysseus lies to Polyphemus the Cyclops, about his name so that he can escape after blinding him. He also disguises himself as a beggar in order to determine disloyal people in his home. The Odyssey genre, the genre of the Odyssey is broadly categorized as an epic poem. It is one of the two key epic poems of ancient Greek attributed to Homer, the other being the Iliad. What are epic poems? They are poems in the form of long narratives typically involving heroic deeds, grand adventures, and larger-than-life characters. The Odyssey fits this description excellently as it tells of the epic story of Odysseus and consists of themes of heroism, the supernatural, and the exploration of human nature. Besides, the poem encompasses elements of folklore, mythology, and ancient Greek values, further reinforcing its classification as an epic.